Hello everybody, welcome to 54 Nights. We had enough. We had like two two weekends at home. Yeah. In a row. Oh. Uh, it was it it was starting to hurt the heart. Yeah. I mean it really was. It was it was it was becoming painful. So and it is just nuts trying to get a campsite at a state park during the summer in Oklahoma. It is it is insane. You know, before we had the home gym, every January and February, we were super excited about all the people that would be new to the gym. But we were really excited also for the ones that weren't going to stick around to leave. I mean, we hoped everybody was going to stick around, but we knew that wasn't going to happen. So we were excited that they were going to leave. I'm a little worried about this new trend with the campers because they've got they bought a camper it's a little bit harder to just drop your membership or just stop going i don't know <laughs> I, I i have a feeling you give it a few months there's going to be a lot of used campers Probably on the market this really winter good deal, deals gently used yeah yeah we ended up at a koa in salisaw oklahoma this weekend um not ideal just for right what on, we want to do but right on the border by the way yeah Arkansas. about 20 miles away from the border but it got us away and right now we're cruising down Talamina Drive. And I feel like I'm on vacation. <laughs> yeah, we need a vacation. It seems like the uh, maintenance for this drive has not gone downhill, but totally gone away. <laughs> it's almost like an Oklahoma park. Yeah, really <laughs> it is. I mean, you got grass overgrowing on the sidewalk. You, of course, graffiti everywhere because, you know, people just can't resist. Trash everywhere. Yeah, trash everywhere. Even the visitor center at the beginning of the drive looked like it hadn't been opened in forever. I got video of that. Yeah, so. Interesting. It's still a pretty drive, though. think that we would know us better it never fails we don't bring our hiking boots and we end up on a trail <laughs> it's a short trail but we still end up on a trail it doesn't matter always
Salisaw Fort Smith KOA. Nice KOA. It's actually one of the nicer ones we've stayed at. I mean, not. I mean, we've stayed at some real nice ones, but I mean, it's not. It's not a rundown KOA. Um, it's on the top tier, I guess. Yeah, uh, it is. The layout is typical. Close together. KOA. I mean, there's. You know, we did a video years back about what to expect with KOAs, and the layout is what you expect. It's pretty close together. Um, you know, not as close as the what KOA in Estes Park. Um, <laughs> But there are a lot of mature trees, <clears throat> so it is well shaded, mm -hmm. um, which is a good thing for some of us. For others that rely on their satellite, might not be such a good thing because I, I didn't try the satellite. We don't have it activated right now, so I don't know what the satellite reception was like, but it, I don't imagine it's real good because of the tree cover. But it is nice and shaded. A lot of people sitting out on their front porch last night. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of activities for the kids. Uh, basketball goal, a swimming pool, of course, the <clears throat> the bounce pad thing. Mm -hmm. um, playground, typical playground. Yeah, so the nice playground hit. had sand under it, and for some reason there was a Tonka truck sitting there. And I kind of feel like the campground left it there for kids to play with in the sand. Yeah, it may have been. Um, Gaga ball, whatever the heck that is. That I, I don't understand it, but I didn't but study there. it real hard. But it, it is there. Um, and there's a little nature trail around an algae-covered yeah. pond. Um, a volleyball net. Oh, and you can rent canoes for that. Yeah, you rent canoes. Um just a lot of activities for a little teeny tiny campground <laughs> yeah i see it wasn't a, it's not a big koa it's really not but they have a lot to do there yeah. um and it's a mile mile and a half off the interstate you really I, I didn't notice interstate noise no so you're far enough off the interstate where you're not hearing that noise but you're close enough to the interstate where it's not like you know going way out of your way on your journey and really, if you know, we like to get into a spot when we're traveling. We like to get into a spot about three o'clock in the afternoon. And if you've got kids with you, and you pull into this KOA at three o'clock in the afternoon, there is plenty of stuff for them to be doing while you're relaxing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's also a decent-sized dog park. If you have little dogs that like to escape, you might want to forego that. But <laughs> yeah, the uh, dog park that that was one issue with the dog park was the gap underneath the fence little much um it's easy for a small yeah our, our and, a me, and, and a medium-sized dog if he really wanted he oh, or she yeah. really wanted to get out that yeah. not a problem they just run real hard and push under it push right under it yeah. um, and that's actually true at a lot of koas koa owners please please think about these little dogs a lot of these campers are like elderly people and they can't go chasing their dogs yeah so. I, I know i and we don't want the dogs to get hurt you, you're probably thinking about ease of weed eating around the fence there's other solutions. I think um, it's better to not have a dog park, honestly, than to have these little dogs that can escape and get hurt. Yep. Um, what else was there about it? Uh, well, COVID-19 is going on, so I'd like to tell you the staff were super friendly, but we, we didn't see the staff. We never met anybody that worked there. We well, there we were a couple find of the trash can. Yeah, there were a couple of young ladies cruising around. They pick up your trash every morning by 11 o'clock if you leave it out front of your site she couldn't find the dumpster and it looks like if i looked at the map and it looks like the dumpster was supposed to be where there's some a lot of heavy equipment where they're clearing some land yeah, i don't know what they're so clearing they it for down. i don't know if they're clearing it to expand the campground or if one of the car dealerships over there is expanding back there but um, okay that's why i couldn't find yeah. it we went on a walk. <laughs> yeah. The uh, they've got three camping cottages. They're cute. Which are their tip your typical KOA cottages. Oh, you're talking about the cottages. Yeah. Not, okay. And then and then, then these are cute. <laughs> they've got three deluxe units. They're camp cabins. 
I'm sure they're identical, but they're painted differently, so they look different. And they're well, one of them was like a decks. like like a really super deluxe model. I mean, it was like called a lodge or something. So, and it was a little bit bigger than the other two. But I mean, if you're going sans RV and you need a cabin to stay at, one of those three looked really mm -hmm. neat. Uh, what is in the area besides Talamina? Is there anything? Like yeah, Salisaw, so uh, you're about 20 miles from the Arkansas border, so 30 minutes, give or take, from Fort Smith, which has the historic site, you know, Judge Parker, the Hanging Judge, that, that whole historic area. Um, Salisaw itself, uh, Sequoia's Cabin. Uh, Sequoia was a Cherokee that created the alphabet for the Cherokee really interesting story um, so there's some of that there um, we you know you saw we we drove down to Talamina Drive which you know Talamina Drive for us Okies in the fall that's like our Blue Ridge Parkway mm -hmm. <laughs> and we got in in the short in the short color season, season you know yeah. A lot of Okies blast down Talamina Drive. So of course we've never gotten to see Blue Ridge Parkway while in the fall. So yeah, we've compare. driven across. We've driven across <laughs> it plenty of times where it was green, but yeah. we've never been out there in the fall. But I know it's probably not comparable. But when you live in Oklahoma, right. you get yeah. what you take. What you and there's get. a lot of evergreens too, so you've got a mixture of colors. Yeah, yeah the Salisaw KOA is a nice KOA and. I would stay there again if if there was a need. So the need being that you can't camp in a state park anymore. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people go home, please. <laughs> Hurry up and sell your campers so we can start enjoying state parks. They're going to keep again. camping, keep camping, but if you're not, just cash it in now. <laughs> Cut your losses. <laughs> we did th this trip. We took the trailer with us the new cargo trailer loaded up the motorcycle this was our test trip um, just to see with the trailer what we needed if there was anything else we needed to with for this type of traveling with that cargo trailer and, and the, make motorcycle. Sure the motorcycle wasn't gonna you know fall through the bottom or yeah. something <laughs> um, so that was the purpose of this trip could not get a spot in a state park unless you wanted 30 amp and in july and august it, with the rig our size 30 amp won't cut it you know I've, I've heard rumors that if you call instead of get online that you're more apt to get a spot let me know if that's an actual if that's true if that's been your you know that's, yeah that's happened yeah. for you you folks have tried that because we need to start trying that if, if yeah. that's a thing yeah it's uh <laughs> it's getting silly but yeah, successful weekend, great weekend, nice relaxing weekend, just had to get away. A um, couple more weeks, we're heading west to cooler, a cooler yes. climate. <laughs> Jealous of all you people who live in Colorado. Well, with all that, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch y'all down the trail. See you later.